So, Doc, let's go on to a conversation actually between Jesus and Peter in John chapter 20, 21, verse 15 to 19. And in that conversation, Jesus asked Peter three times if he loved him. And by the third time, um, the, Peter's response, uh, response sounded broken. Now, um, why did Jesus have to ask Peter thrice if he loved him? Uh, as, as I said earlier, nothing Jesus did was for doing sake. It wasn't happenstance. Everything was serving a purpose. And then I also said the Bible doesn't come with explanation notes. So you wouldn't see that and, and find footnote. By the way, he did this because of that. We have to study scripture from the broad perspective. And the conclusion we can drive at that because this is the first time jesus is asking somebody the same question three times um many times even when he said verily he said it twice uh but uh this time three times so why three times i think that the safe conclusion you can draw is that peter denied him three times mm -hmm. uh, three times in the life of peter uh he was asked do you know jesus and he said no do you know jesus he said no do you know Jesus? He said, no. And Jesus had prophesied that will happen mm. and, and had told Peter, you, you will be strengthened. And when you are strengthened or when you return, you come and strengthen your brothers. Now, how do you help somebody who has denied you three times, mm. uh, who is bearing so much guilt? Uh, the person who said he would die for you, go with you to the end, has blown it big time. So Jesus has to help Peter not only to forgive him, but to emotionally restore him. He, he had to get the man to the point where, yes, he knows he's been forgiven, but he can accept himself and face life because he's going to play a very important part in the church. So Jesus had to give him three opportunities to nullify the three denials. Mm. Peter, son of Jonah, mm. do you love me? Yes, Lord, I love you. And he said it three times. Um, you can make other conclusions for it, but that's how I see it, that Jesus was helping him to, uh, to feel restored. Because, you know, sometimes God forgives us, but we never forgive ourselves. Because we've, we feel we've done so badly that even after God says, I've forgiven you, you are just feeling, I need to do something to rectify this. I need to do something to make up for the mistake I've done. And that's exactly what Jesus gave to Peter. He gave him the chance to recover every negative word he had spoken. And so those three occasions were for him to feel not only forgiven, but for him to forgive himself and feel restored and, and be able to lead the disciples. So in the context of this restoration that Peter enjoyed, that empowered him to go on and do great things for the kingdom, oh, this is somebody who is listening today who says, I blew it big time. I really shouldn't have done what I did. And listening to you today, I wish I had a chance, Peter had of Christ saying to me, do you love me? So I could tell the Lord, the Lord, I love you, but I, I missed it. What can somebody listening today who feels broken because of their mistakes of their past do in the light of what you just said? Um, I mean, there, there is something called restitution. I mean, you have to look at Peter. Uh, he verbally denounced Christ, verbally, not physically, but verbally. And so he had to verbally affirm Christ. Uh, Zacchaeus, on the other hand, had physically taken things from people right, right. And, and mishandled a responsibility that was given to him. So his restoration for him to take the same resource and use it for good. Right. Um, and so sometimes you don't get the chance to go back to correct a past mistake, but he gives us the chance to go forward mm. and, and do better where we did wrong. And, and that's what Christianity is. We commit ourselves not just to receive God's forgiveness, but to act out God's forgiveness in such a way that we feel whole and complete that, that we are together. You know, God didn't just forgive us. We, we can forgive ourselves. We can live with ourselves. 
and, and we can face our own lives and our future. Right. And the future is definitely greater than the past. The future is always more important. The past cannot be corrected, but the future can always be amended. Wonderful.